Hi guys, it's Maria back with an advocacy tip for the day. And today we're talking about middle schoolers. This one hits close to home for me because as a lot of you know, our oldest just transitioned to middle school. So I am going to give you some advocacy tips based on things that we are already struggling with, right? And it's just the start of school year, right? So first thing first is to, again, look over that IEP. But you want to make sure that from the transition from elementary to middle, there was a transition plan meeting that happened that has all of the transition um, action steps necessary to make sure it is streamlined for your child from elementary to middle. You wanna make that process as easy as possible. Also introducing yourself to all of the teachers. At this point, the students may have more than one teacher. Our child has six teachers. So introducing yourself to the teacher, letting that know the type of parent you are, how you advocate, um, a form a little email that you can send. Also making sure that um, if the school is large and your child is going from one classroom to the next, that you can go in during that summertime and have your child do a tour. You can get their schedule as early as possible and have them uh, do a mock of class change. So starting with their first period and going on down. Um, here are actually the schedule changes daily for her. So we had to go through that trial and error process with her. So whatever you can do to make that transition easier for your child, make sure that you are doing it.